Um, yeah, I suppose injury is part of the game. Uh, you know, working hard to get back is always important, but you know, it's important as well just to uh, to stay motivated to throughout that. You know, to get the best out of your rehab process, to get back as quickly as possible, make sure you come back hard and stronger. The way I do that is, uh, I don't know. I think uh, whilst I'm injured, you know, obviously always missing playing with the guys. Um, you know, you watch the games on the weekends, and you really wish you were there. So. And I really do use that as motivation to try and uh, you know work harder, get back quicker. Uh, it's important to take the break as well when it comes, but uh, you know think of the positives, and that usually helps me get through a tough time. So it'll be difficult to answer. Uh, I would probably say uh, I'll say one of the best cars I've ever played was Free de Bre. The number nine has recently retired off to the World Cup. Uh, you know, it's just a master of uh, controlling the game. You know. He has a link between the forwards and the backs, and you know, playing with him, he always kind of knew that uh, magic was going to happen, and uh, we got a lot of success uh, with him in the side. Uh, well, a lot of things really. Um, you know, it's obviously a fantastic club with a lot of heritage, a lot of history. To be a part of that's awesome. You know, not everyone gets the opportunity uh, to play professional rugby, let alone play for a club like Bath. Uh, you know, it's got a very unique setting with the, uh, the stadium, the rec being in the middle of, of the city. Uh, a massive game atmosphere, and you know, to play out there on a Friday night, a Saturday afternoon, whenever is you know, is always a huge privilege. Um, it's a great place to be. Uh, it's a good bunch of guys. You know, we're on a we're in a good place. Uh, you know, really striving for for big things, uh, and, and hope to achieve that with the club. Uh, I think a few guys have had a, had a run to, uh, this year so far. Uh, you know, we've sort of put back with a few injuries. I gave a lot of young boys uh, chances. You know, to get into the side to showcase themselves. Um, you know, I think Charlie Yule's stepping up, taking his chances, and you know, getting called into the England side. Uh, Tom Ellis is another young kid who's come through. You know, he's done awesome for us uh, in the back row. Uh, Tom Dunn, who's been at the club a long time, you know, has finally I think found his groove and he's playing some top rugby. Um, a lot of a lot of the young guys, really. You know, the old guys need to uh, really pick up the game as the academy guys are coming through and they're really you know putting pressure on us. But that's the kind of pressure you want uh, uh, within a side. Which are all the fights? One horse-sized duck or hundred duck-sized horses? <laughs> yeah. uh, I think a horse-sized duck would be pretty scary. Uh, <laughs> hell of a beak. Um, <laughs> big feet. Uh, I think I'll probably eat you up. A um, hundred duck-sized horses. They'll be quick, but uh, you know they'll only be able to attack you in the shin area. So I think you'll be okay. You can probably try and dodge a few. Uh, I'll probably go with, with the horses, the small, the tiny ones. The toughest player I've ever played against uh, was uh, Jerry Collins, actually. Uh, the late Jerry Collins, who recently passed away. Um, Hell of a player for uh, you know for the Hurricanes at the time and for the uh, the All Blacks. Um, tough man, hard as nails. Uh, you definitely knew he ran at you after you did. Get out of the forwards. <laughs> Get into the back line. No, on a serious note, uh, I think you know, just just keep at it. Be tough. You know, it's uh, it's not always pretty up in front. Then sometimes you just gotta dig your heels in and you know push on. Uh, so you know, never back down.